YouTube. Hey, my name is Mark. This is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and much more. Hey, today's video should be interesting for you racers out there that is. We're gonna show and walk through a Formula race car lift and walk through the unpacking, demonstrate how it works, so this will be the first time for me as well. Um, so follow along, let's see what this thing is, come on. So Formula Race Car Lifts, interesting. Um, I'll talk about what that is here in just a second, explain some of the benefits, at least um, my expectation of the benefits. But before I do that, let's just pan down here. Let me show you what I received moments ago. So this is the pallet that is showing the lifts themselves. So you have two lifts. You have the front and the rear of the car, and you can see these are all aluminum. And um, so anyway, let me let me get these things off the pallet. Let's uh, let's see what they look like. All right, come on. So so Formula race car lifts. Um, many of you who have Formula race cars, you know what I'm talking about. Um, sometimes it could be challenging to uh, get the car up off the ground. Um, so at a minimum, you need the quick stands, right? So um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Um, this is a very common, but I would say required type of quick lift and uh, stand or jack that you need. Let me just pan down here. So this is one, let me get over here, from uh, MK Technologies. And you've probably seen a lot of these around. Um, this gives you leverage to uh, get the race car up off the ground. And this example, this one is for the rear of the car. Um, likewise, let me show you the front stand itself. Pan down here. So let me show you. So here's an example of a quick lift for the front of the Formula race car. So these are pretty much a must, right? If you think about getting the car um, around in the garage, get it in the transporter. Um, it allows you to very quickly get one end, end of the car up off the ground, uh, change your tires, that type of thing. Um, so I would imagine most, if not all of you, Formula race car drivers have those uh, quick uh, stands, um, lifts, I guess you call it, um, as a normal thing. So outside of that, Formula race cars uh, do need to get off the ground for service work, um, depending on what you need to do. So many, many Formula race cars have floors that are on the bottom of the race car. Um, you'll, you'll need to be able to clean, if not remove those floors from time to time. Obviously motor swaps, uh, uh, gearboxes, all that kind of stuff. So you really have two ways to do it. So the very first approach that I've been doing over the years is I use an A-frame lift. And let me go over here and show you. You've, you've probably seen this many times in previous videos. Um, here's an example. So as I point to this here, uh, this is from MK Technologies as well. This is a A-frame lift. This is battery powered. You have a, a hoist here that allows you to connect to the car and, and pick it up off the ground. Now the advantage of the A-frame lifts is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, they're, they're portable, so you can actually fold those apart. You can put them in your transporter. They, um, they typically connect through the roll hoop of your, um, your Formula race car, and you, you use that as a pickup mount, and you can get the car quite high. So um, I, I've been using those that one specifically for the last 20 some odd years, right? and uh, they work well. So um, that is a, a great lift to have for broad, broad um, uh, needs for your race car. Now they only, um, I wouldn't call it really a negative, but for race day activity and such, um, it, it's somewhat of a pain always having to connect, you know, through your roll hoop um, and, and and to pick up the race car and get the stands underneath it. It's kind of a two-person operation because the race car typically is gonna be front heavy or rear heavy. 
and um, you're, you know you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have have to juggle that to get it in the air but uh, so that's the second now there have been there have been uh, Formula race car jacks or lists for years um, and you see a lot of the, the high-end teams the Formula One the IndyCar teams and so on have in most cases pneumatic lifts on the front or the rear of the car and they actually would mount to your jack mounts at the rear of the car and under the front nose itself and they give um, in theory because I haven't tried this yet they give you a very quick um, easy access to uh, get under underneath your car and so on so with having said all of that I want to show you let me pan down so I, I got these out of the crate and um, this is the the new lifts that I purchased from MK Technologies so let me just do a quick walk around so you can see what these look like this one is for the rear of the car and you can see these legs are um, are in a, a storage position at the moment and very good quality actually I'm quite impressed just looking at the weld and quality on these things so these are not pneumatic these are a a shaft um, a threaded shaft that controls the up and down movement on these um, so pretty cool um, but that's the rear of the car and this one is for the front so let me just pan around this thing looks very similar other than the front you have this big this big tray here and I'm assuming oh yeah here let me just pull this thing down I see it's in a it's in a um, I'm gonna have to bolt these in place so this was actually in a storage uh, mode where it was raised up that way but this is for the front of the race car to get it under the front wing and so on so um, that's what these look like pretty impressed again with the quality now let me just see how heavy these are picking this thing up here one-handed oh yeah so I, I don't have it on the scale pretty light I'm guessing I don't know 30 pounds something in that ballpark each so easily something that could be moved around so these MK technology formula car lifts um, they are rated at let me see here double check um, 850 pounds each so if your race car is 1600 pounds roughly um, or lighter uh, these will work for you and that actually handles the majority of Formula race cars. Um, very, very few get above 1,600 pounds. Um, so they should, they should do the job. Of course, my car, this Formula 1000, uh, just the car itself without drivers, just over 800 pounds or so. So this is not a big deal. So having said all that, um, let me get these lifts ready. I will then roll them over here to the car, right? And I'll uh, I'll see how this works, and I'll uh, video along the way so you can you, you can see how it works. Now, keep in mind, these should be a two-person job, right? You should have one person on the front of the car, one person on the rear of the car, and then with um, your motorized drill. Um, and this this is what I have, by the way. I just grabbed these little whatever. Um, with your motorized drill you would actually just attach it here to the lift itself and using the drill you would actually raise it or lower it so i'm here by myself so this will be a test for a one person lift and see how well this works all right so let me get these over in the car let's let's see what it looks like so um so i have the lifts ready to um to pick the car up so here's the front lift itself and this tray by the way as you can see it is this thing is on a pivot so it rotates um, and one thing's kind of cool they ship with these uh, let me take this thing off they ship with this plastic there we go get that off they ship with this plastic um, cover on the shaft to protect the shaft uh, for transport so I thought that's kind of cool let's go back here to the back of the car 
And here you can see what this one looks like as well. Remember this thing will mount up here. Uh, same thing, let's get this cover off the shaft on that guy, okay? So with these lifts from NK, MK Technologies, you know, I need to let you know, um, look, we have no commercial affiliation um, at all with MK Technologies. They're out of Canada, by the way. Um, we purchased these lifts ourselves for our own use. So um, just wanted to get that out there so you know. And uh, with that, let's get back into the video. So one thing I thought was interesting <laughs> So I haven't, I haven't tried to lift up the car yet. Um, I'll have to make a little modification to, um, to the rear lift bracket. Let me show you why. So if I go down here, so this is the bottom of my race car. And here you can see it's about uh, six inches, six and three quarter inches roughly from outside to outside. And with this, being the bracket that should ultimately go up under here, well, its inside is uh, it's about six and a quarter. So um, I'll have to make some I'll have to make some modifications uh, to that thing for this thing to work. So um, to be clear, you might be wondering, you know, why am I going through all the trouble of these small little uh, lifts for the Formula race car. You know, I talked about I talked about the A lift and how it works well. Um, I, you know, for me, it, I think it's I'm hoping that it's going to be a little faster, especially like on race weekends. Uh, you know, track time. You know, you, for at least myself, it's probably typical with most Formula race car folks. You know, you'll be out, you'll run, um, you'll have a session or a race, whatever it is. Um, you'll bring the car in. Typically, you're going to want to get the car off the ground. Look, at a minimum, you're changing tires frequently, wheels and tires. But for me, I like to get the car up off the ground. I like to um, do a, a quick visual, um, you know, more of a safety and cleaning um, aspect of it. But you want to get the car off the ground. And, and um, the A-frame, it just works extremely well. It takes a little longer. Uh, to actually get the car up off the ground. So I'm hoping these guys, front and rear of the car, um, that we can actually get the car up at, at least you know a, a foot or two off the ground like I'm showing you here. Um, so here's the front, the front um, lift. It's actually in place. Let me go and show you what this is like with the gun itself. So it's actually trying to lift right this minute. If I go a little more uh, so it's actually touching the front nose. If I go a little more here with this to the right, you'll see it'll start picking up the car. And it's working quite well, actually. No, no issue at all. So let's go, turn it the other way and go down. So works pretty good, right? Um, I'm, I'm not going full speed on the drill, uh, just for reference, but if I... Crank it up here. Not too shabby. Um, I think it's going to work great. Now I need to modify th this rear um, adapter, like I've shown you. So the width here um, is not going to work for me. So I have a little bit of stainless. I'm going to go ahead and use this, modify this bracket here, so I can actually. Um, get my lift to work here in the rear of the car. So let me pull that off, get the welder out, um, get this thing uh, fabricated, and I'll bring it right back to you, okay? Okay, I made, uh, I made some modifications to this rear um, mount, right, like I was showing you. Let me just pan down here, show you what I did. I haven't painted it and finished all the welding, but all I did, um, I cut out the, the previous bar that was in here I had a piece of stainless laying around not quite the same diameter pretty close I bent these fingers out um, to get the width that I need here and um, that's all I did and it seems to fit fine so let's roll it up here let's see what it looks like okay so as I roll this thing underneath the car let's see if this will work go nice and slow 
looks like that's about it. Okay, seems to be working. It's off the stands. And uh, I can tell already, you need, I can tell already you need a pretty good um, high torque drill. So let me work on that. I'll grab another one, see what I can do on this, okay? So I've been playing with the, uh, with the lift a little bit and I made a comment about one of the, uh, one of the motors here wasn't that strong. I, that was just one particular drill for whatever reason. Um, you know, these are uh, cheap whatever. Um, so uh, the other one, this one actually works quite well. In fact, here I can lower it a little bit. You can watch. Right, here I'll go up with it. And if you notice, it's, it's kind of a two hand thing, right? The, uh, the drill, you can tell the weight, you know, it, it wants to torque it a little bit. Um, very good though. So let me pan down here and show you. Here's MK Technologies. Again, their phone number where they're at in Canada. Again, we have no affiliation with these guys. Um, the lifts seem to do a very good job. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, you know, as I talked about a little earlier, as you can see here, right, the, it's easy. The car will rock and roll quite easily, so you need to be careful. Um, I actually use, you can see these here, I actually have, uh, they, I think those are 18 inch stands. So I use those and I would actually lower, lower the car onto those stands um, just to be safe before I get underneath it. So I have to say, I am actually impressed with these, these uh, Formula car lifts. So you, again, just to pan around, you can see what it looks like. There's the rear of the car. I roll over here to the front and you can see what the front looks like as well. So to me, this is a great, to me, this is a great, um, easy to use, um, quick jacks, right? For the race car. And um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give these a shot um, for the next test session that we have coming up uh, to, see, to see how I like these compared to the A-Lift. Uh, frame that I told you about. So I'll, I'll do an update on the video um, or I'll do an update um, when I do my next video, excuse me, um, where I, I show some of these things in use during the next uh, test session. So that's it for this video. It's a pretty short one, just a quick introduction on these uh, Formula Car lifts. Um, I hope you enjoy it. You know, I got to ask because I need to ask, right? If you haven't subscribed Look, everybody asks to do that. Um, I would ask, though, that you um, you subscribe if you enjoy any any of the content of this channel. And I have a lot of race car related uh, videos that are coming up. Uh, some more uh, videos around track analysis, um, overtaking examples, you know, strategy on the track, that type of thing. But I'm very open to any any ideas that you have. Um, just send me comments over and um, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on those as well. Okay, that's it for today. Until next time, ciao.